Okie dokie, as we say. This is a tutorial of glasses. <laughs> so I can see who I'm talking to, which is myself on this screen. It's a tutorial I'm going to put up on YouTube that is meant for people who studied with me in Vallejo in the city park and are now studying with Greg. And anybody else who may wish to have a tutorial on the more or less traditional Yang style, 102 step, 104 step, 106 step choreography. This includes some variations that were passed on to me by my teacher, Robert Cook, and uh, several variations of my own or that were worked out during our class, including one major uh, one, which has to do with during the kicking section where you do your final kick after double wins to the ears that the traditional style, you swing around, do another kick. However, in working with seniors and in working on very rough ground, have included instead of that, that we do a bakwa step that we come around. And the same thing in uh, the second repetition of slant flying, same thing, stepping around instead of swinging around, and also in the final, after stepping back to ride the horse. I'm giving the names, that's the purpose of doing this, so that people can access the mnemonic device of knowing which move is called what. Now, having said that, my translations go back 40 years, so there may be newer translations of the names. And also, I have added several myself in order to make things clear. So anybody watching this and saying, oh, that's not the way it's done. It's the way I do it, and it's the way that people who've studied with me do it. And acceptable or not, <laughs> traditionalists will roll over on their floors. Hands climbing them out. Knees flexing down to the J plateau. Weight pours into the left bending leg. And we move into the routine scholar points to the east or whatever direction you have determined for yourself to practice. Stepping left to spread the silk brocade. Closing the gate right arm in front, stepping into the bow and arrow to grasp the bird's tail. Release. Roll back and connect left middle finger to right wrist. Slide up and press forward, single arm press. And yield into double palm push. Turning 180 degrees into single whip. Over to the corner to play the lute. Draw your right leg back as the arms, so that the body is not static. Going into Crane spreads its wings. Crane cools its wings. First brush knee push palm. Right hand brush knee push palm. Follow step. Playing the loop. Three brush knee push palm. First with the right. Yield. Step 
through. Press knee, push palm left. Yield. Step through. Press knee, push palm right. Lower step. Angled. Press knee, push palm. Left ward off. Over the other. Right hand circling fist. Step through the door. I like to make a kick here. Days. I step back just to keep myself from the camera. Right fist through left palm. Right ball. Roll back. Push the two palms. Closing the curve. Right hand crosses in front of left. Turning into tiger returns to the mountains. Left arm, shoulder height, right arm, just below the waist, the thigh, maybe. Tiger three, tiger palm. One, two. It could be a long looping overhand or three like that. Single arm press, white ball, roll back, double palm push, pulling the boat up the river, right hand palm up, left hand palm down, circle around and waist turning like a wheel, stepping around into fist under the elbow. Just under the elbow. Big stretch. Monkey steps backwards. Once. Twice. Left leg back, right leg forward. Equal push forward and back. Pivoting on right. Turning into slant flying. I like to think of this as eagle flies over the canyon. With the back leg or not, as the case may be. Flying movement. Crane spreads its wings. Stepping backwards again. Breathe. Out breath. In breath. We always do in breath going back. And out breath going forward. Breath knee, push palm. Into follow step, right leg towards left. Into the needle at the bottom of the seat. Go down as far as is comfortable. No need to strain yourself. Going down. Looking through the double tiger now. Fan through the back. Right hand fist in the air. Back fist. Intercepting palm. Circling fist. Stepping through, I call this dragging out of the cave, back fist, intercepting palm, fist at the hip, touch heel and fist through the palm, left ward off, or I call this raven around the mountain, I am going forth, up into grass the bird's tail, holes in the cave, grass the bird's tail, roll back. Press forward, left and right together. Roll back. Double palm push. Turning into single whip. So I call it raven around the mountain because it's like the raven flying over Mount Kailash with a red bandana. 
round and round. And the raven has leveled the mountain. That's the moment of enlightenment. <laughs> it's an image transmitted by Joe Miller of the Theosophical Society. May God rest his soul. Hands waving like claps. Hands waving like claps. Three repetitions. Reaching to the right, right hand palm down, left hand palm up. Pulling and slowly, right hand palm up, left hand palm down, right at midpoint. Single whip. Nice energy in the right wrist going back, heel of the hand going forward. Patting the horse. Stepping into the kicking section. Right leg kick, in breath. Out breath. Left leg kick, in breath. Out breath. Left leg kick again. In breath. Hold and down. Press knee, push palm. Press knee, push palm. And low strike. Turning and looking and then holding rooster on the left leg, fist in the air, my own name, back fist, intercepting palm, circling fist, stepping through again, back fist, intercepting palm, right fist through the left palm. Two arms big, eagle looks at the sun. And stepping down, raising right leg. Side kick, double hand grab, cat climbs the tree. Turning into striking the tiger. Or tiger strikes. Some of these are old translations. I'm sure that there's updated new ways, but there you go. Tiger strikes to the right. Left, right, right leg kick. Oh, turn, double wins to the air. Left leg kick. Now, T step, make a fist in the palm. L step, T step, kick, back fist, intercepting palm, and fist through the palm. Roll back. Breathing in, push the palms. Always mindful. Roll back or yielding in breath. Turning, gesturing, leaving a move, posture, out breath. And stepping again into tiger returns to the mountains, right. Left palm, right palm, roll back and pressing forward. Both palms flat into slanting single whip. Or no point in the palm. Planting single whip. 
turning into parting the horse's mane three times, right up and left down, lifting, not slicing, lift and press down. So it's like your arm is sliding under the horse's silky mane and lifting it up. Waist turns, scanning the horizon with that right wrist, snaky, carry the ball, spreading the silk brocade, closing the gate, stepping in to grasp the bird's tail, and yield, touch, middle finger to wrist as usual. Press forward, left and right together. Wipe off and yield. And push with two palms. Turning. Going into the four corners here. Ordinal points to the compass. Four corners. So we're on the east-west direction. Now we're going to go northeast, north, north, south. I mean, southeast, et cetera. So first corner, left arm up, right palm push. First corner, going around 270 degrees all around your body. There. Press. And stepping left leg forward, right leg back. Pressing all the way around the body again. Now feel energy in your feel your hand as you pivot the foot and turn your waist so that you can come back and carry the ball. So we're always aware of energy. Power, power without force. Right along here, you see. Lifting, coming back and touching. Pressing forward, left and right together. And roll and push with two palms. Never emphasizing up the importance of the breathing. Inhale as you go back into right leg, circle wrist, and exhale as you go into the single whip. It would be a whole nother video to do with the breathing. Being attentive to the waist turning, not just the arms moving like a clock. Feeling all the way down through my ankles, how my body is subtly rotating, subtly, subtle. Reaching to the right, right hand palm down, left hand palm up. Turning to the left, slowly, right hand palm up, left hand palm down. Crane's beak to the rear. And looking to the tiger mouth to the front. Going into snake creeps down. We just do what is possible for us and to golden rooster stands on left leg. Kick or not as you wish. Step forward or backward as you wish. And monkey steps backwards again. This time I'm using little tiger palms in the front. Until I get here, third one back. Now I'm pivoting a lot on my right foot, bending leg, pivoting on my left and going into this variation from Master Cut. And now I'm turning to the other side. Always careful to pivot on an empty leg. 
And now we go into left hand slant line. And right hand slant line. So on smooth ground, we just would swing around into position, but here we're doing Ape carries the fruit, left foot, right foot, L step, left foot, T step, and up into crane opens its wings, cools its wings. Brush me, push palm with the follow step. And needle at the sea bottom again. Breathing out as you go down. Turn the hand. Surface, breathing in. And going forward, breathing out. And through the back. Open palm, right hand this time. Snake flashes its tongue. Reach, roll back, circling, fist, and pivot right foot, step forward, back, fist, left intercepting palm, right fist through left palm. Raven circles, now Kailash, and up into grass, the bird's tail closes in the gate, grass, the bird. Roll back, touch, press forward, left and right together. Roll back, push with your palms back. Turn, turn, turn. Single whip. Into our last sequence of Hands waving like clouds. Left up and right down. Waist turning. It's not a windmill. Reaching and pulling, pivoting my right foot at the same time. All oh, and left, right foot empty, left foot leg full, back into right foot leg full, left empty so we can step in the single. Now we do Virgil's move and the variation from Vallejo, California. Pa, pa. This is that we know that we can strike, strike. Having a horse and thrusting palm upwards. And now teacup move from the Bakwa, pivoting on left foot, reaching back. Pull, feel the energy pulling your body through. Step forward and again, push this time, palm forward, turn to kick. Final moves. Snake creeps down. Tiger mouth grab forward and then fist under the arm. Remember, not too high. Stepping back to ride the horse. Now, traditionally, stepping back to, after stepping back to ride the horse, we would spin around like this. Okay. 
However, just so we know, um, we need to adjust ourselves to age, capacity, terrain. So on the rough terrain, we do this T step. This is the right hand descends and left hand rises L step. T step. And now we're in position to outward circle and kick with the right leg. Outward circle and kick with the left leg. And we do our traditional, our tradition, dragon step ending. Turning. 180 degrees. Yeah. Open. Oh. Forward. Lean forward a little bit. Draw in. And hold. Universal post. High universal post, lower, 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 very suitable for you, back straight, spine tucked in, no poking out behind, hold as long as you feel comfortable. Step back into this form of the universal post. One leg back, so my right, my rear leg, which happens in this case to be my right leg, is full. My left is 97% empty. And I can step back again, so I hold as long as I want. And I reverse. Rear leg is always full, feeling tall, chin tucked in. Breathing from the middle, through the nose, in and out the nose. Hold as long as you feel comfortable. Step up, and then clear. Breathing in, coming up. And breathing out, coming down and clearing, leaving behind. Bubbling, effervescent, clear, sparkle. Light, energy, chi, chi, could include this bending pocket. Then do right hand over left, then do left hand over right. Just stand and breathe with you. Adjust, stand and breathe. Relax your shoulders. Feel tall at the top of your head. Breathe in once. Turn your tongue and touch the roof of your mouth and hold for a count of three or four. Breathe out, release the tongue. I hope this is helpful for somebody. 